it's been great to have all the, uh, the number of people we've had here. By my count, we had eight different universities until, let me, let me grab it, two days ago. Don't worry about it. And we had to have one cancellation from a uh, presenter from the University of Washington who needed to stay home because of a, of a NIOSH, a grant-related meeting for their ERC, so we certainly understand that. So we've ended up with seven different universities here, and I think that's a new record, uh, not to mention all the people we've had from, uh, from, from industry in the community. I'm glad to see Flint Belk here. Flint, raise your hand. Flint's been here for 11 of the 13. I thought he'd be 12 out of the 13. As far as local uh, uh, attendees, I think he's got the record on that. What I'd like to do before I continue is I'm going to go through the universities and ask you to raise your hand so we all can see who's here from, from different locations. And I'll start right off with the University of Utah and the Rocky Mountain Center. So if you're affiliated with that group, and of course we'd like, like to see a large group here, we have faculty, students, trainees, industrial hygienists, engineers, physicians from that group. Thank you very much. University of South Florida, raise your hand. There's a group with, uh, from the Sunshine ERC, Tom Bernard. Some of them are working with Dr. Tom Bernard, a good friend and colleague, research colleague for the last 15 or 20 years. Tom actually spent a semester with us on sabbatical about seven years ago. Cincinnati, this is our first, uh, thank you, this is our first uh, representative from the University of Cincinnati. We're very glad to have, have you here. Texas Tech, working with uh, with Dr. Yang and Dr. Song. Glad to see that representation here. Uh, a couple years ago, we also had some, some proposals and accepted abstracts, and the weather didn't let them even make it out of Lubbock, I don't understand, a couple years ago. So we're glad you could make it. I would like to apologize for those of you that don't ski for the weather we have out here, and take credit for those of you that do ski, because <laughs> I put my snow shovel away last weekend. So you can thank me for what we just had in here. Colorado State, we have a group from Colorado State. We're glad to see them. John Rosecrans and, his, and some of his students have been regular attendees, I think, since the very beginning, if not very close to the beginning. We're very glad to have that relationship. University of Iowa, working with uh, Nate Fetke, I think, uh, who's, who's actually spent a little bit of time here talking with us. We're glad to see that. I think it's the first representation from there. Uh, there's, there's some other small university in the south. It starts with an A. Auburn, Auburn, that's it. Auburn University. You're here from Auburn. Great, great, great. We're glad to see you here too. Rich, as you probably know, spent a lot of time here as both a student and a faculty member. Now he's a tenured associate professor at Auburn, and we're very glad to have him and some of his students and colleagues, faculty colleagues here. So again, it's got we've got a great group, and we're very excited about this. A little bit about the format, as you've been informed by Liz, it's a 15-5 format. That's 15 minutes of presentation for, for, and then a five-minute Q&A. Uh, it may seem tight for those of you, for those students that haven't given presentations before, but that's actually uh, about as much as you'll ever be given at a technical conference. Sometimes technical conferences are 12-3, which is even tighter than what we have here. So uh, it, the, the hardest thing to do, I know, is to try to put two years of research into 15 minutes, but that's one of the things you just have to do as part of these technical uh, presentations. I'll be sitting over here, and somewhat unobtrusively, I'm going to be uh, raising up a couple signs. One will say three minutes, and one will say one minute. That's three minutes before the end of your 15, and one minute before the end of your 15. And then I'll, if you drift a little bit into your Q&A, that's okay. I'm not going to ask you to stop uh, in mid-sentence. But what I will do at the end of toward the end of 20 minutes is I'm going to start. You'll see me edge over here toward the podium, uh, so we can we do need to stay on schedule. We have a pretty tight schedule, and uh, some people do come from the community to see specific presentations at specific times. So we don't want to be sure we have them uh, able to see the presentations that they would they would like to see. And for those of you that haven't noticed, just to Emphasize again, there will be breakfast and lunch here both days. There's lunch here tomorrow, even though the conference does end immediately before the lunch break, we will continue to have lunch. Uh, there's a uh, simultaneous uh, event going on here, the American Society of Safety Engineers uh, Regional Conference and a student conference will be held here, kind of blending with our conference tomorrow at about noon. So you may see some additional people here tomorrow. We're going to open up the back way, put some additional tables back there for some of them to attend and see our, our Richards lecture. So that's the uh, an overlap there. Um, Liz or Liz, do you think of anything I've missed? Okay. Then what I'd like to do now is to introduce our, our keynote speaker, 
And Dr. Sid Sutterholm uh, has been here before in this capacity, and, and we were really glad to see his presentation, and we're glad to see it again. Uh, Sid is the, the head of the, the NIOSH NORA, the National Occupational Research Agenda of that group at NIOSH. So we have a lot of people in this room that are affiliated with NIOSH grants, that will be writing NIOSH grants, research grants, and what he's going to be talking to us today, I believe, is about some of the partnerships that, that uh, NIOSH has with, uh, with that entity, or, or within that entity with, uh, with the community. So I'm going to go ahead and, and start this presentation off and then turn the time over.